Hey everyone! So this is a nice and easy full body workout focusing on your pelvic stability. Get ready on your mat, lying down on your back. Position your heels down by your sit bones and start rolling your pelvis. Use your out breath to pull your pubic bone up towards you and your in breath to release your pelvis back down. So you're rolling across your sacrum, tilting your pelvis. So your lower back is flattening and going back into a neutral position. Do that one more time, breathing out and breathing in, before you start rolling your pelvis all the way up, reaching through your hip joints and slowly rolling your spine back down to the mat. One more time. Use your out breath, tilting your pelvis and lift it off the mat. Feel the contact with your feet. Gently push down into the mat to lift your pelvis up. Breathe in up there and then slowly roll back down. And again, use your out breath, tilting your pelvis and rolling your spine up. Use your in breath up there and while breathing out, bring the spine back down to the mat. Neutral pelvis. And then lift your arms. Reach them behind your head and circle them around your body back into your starting position. Breathe. Reach. Move your shoulders. Lift your arms behind your head and circle them around your body. Feel your shoulders easy, mobile. Feel a slight stretch. And then keep the arms up to the ceiling. Now we're going to shoulder drops. This means lift up one shoulder off the mat and let it drop back down to the mat, breathing in up and then breathe out and drop your shoulder back to the mat. Change right and left arm. Breathing in, lift the shoulder off the mat, breathing out, wah, let it drop down. The other arm, breathing in up and let go of your breath, your shoulder and all the tension there. And now rocking shoulders, you start to massage the shoulders right and left. Trying to get all the tension there, out. Just try to get all the tension out. It's like a massage, right and left, as if you want to Make all the muscles there soft and easy, get the tension out. And then keep your arms hovering above your shoulders, feel your mid back, and then release your arms back down onto the mat. From there, start again, tilting your pelvis and rolling your spine up off the mat. Now give your hip joints a good pull away and we start tilting the pelvis. So try to keep one side stable, the other one is releasing to the mat. So your pelvis starts to rotate around the axis of your spine. One side stays stable, the other one is releasing down. Your pelvis is rotating while your shoulder girdle stays stable. Release the pelvis on one side and bring it back up. Release the pelvis on the other side and bring it back up. And always try reaching the knees away from your body. And drop one side and lift it back up. And get this feeling for your pelvis moving and staying stable on the other side. Slowly roll your spine back down. Feel neutral pelvis there. Release for a second. Get your hands down. We go into knee folds. So you try to lift the right leg up without disturbing the position of your pelvis. And then the same with your left leg. Try to activate your center and let your femur sink into your hip socket and then you lift the leg up. So you breathe out, activate pelvic floor and deep stomach muscles. Feel your femur sinking into the hip socket and lift the right leg up again without changing the position of your pelvis there. Yeah, so it's really important you start with your breath, then you go into the activation of your deep muscles and then now lift your left leg like a fold in your hip joint. I like to get my thumbs 
on the crease of my hip joint and feel this lifting like a fold. Always search the stability first and then try to move your leg without too much effort. Get your right leg up and let it sink back down and we go again. Activate your pelvic floor first, close and lift your body openings and then lift the left knee up. Let your lower leg hang so that there is not too much lever that you have to work with. Okay, then get settled back. Feel your hands on your lower stomach, feel your pelvis stable and neutral. Activate your pelvic floor and from there we start sinking the right knee out to the side without letting your pelvis tilt to the side as well. Then feel your body openings closing and from your center lift the leg back up. We do the same side again. So again, use your right leg to sink out to the outside. Let your knee drop and then feel your body openings closing, feel your lower stomach activating and the leg is coming back up. We stay on the right side for now. So again, guide your knee to the side, feel your pelvis staying stable. So don't let it rock out to the right side as well. Needs this playful search for a good stability using your deep pelvic and lower stomach muscles. If you can feel that, that's really good. I like to keep the opposite hand on my hip joint so I can feel when this side of my pelvis is lifting. Trying to keep that stable using gravity to let the knee sink to the outside and then really feeling your body openings closing when you bring the leg back up. Do one more time, guide the knee to the outside and use the deep muscles to come back center. And now we change sides. Use your left knee now to sink to the outside. Stay out there, breathe in, and then use your out breath to bring the leg back in. So you breathe out, you guide your left knee to the side. You stay and you breathe in. And when you breathe out, use your deep pelvic floor muscles to start the movement. And again, use your right hand in this case to sense your right pelvis staying stable. Don't let your pelvis rock out with the knee that is rocking outside. Guide the knee to the outside, use your in-breath, stay there and on your out-breath come back center. You can also use the palm of your big toe to initiate the movement together with your stomach muscles. And from there come back center and let both knees sink to the outside. Just feel your hip joints and now use your pelvic floor muscles and from there bring the knees back center. We continue. Get the arms back beside your body. Slowly roll up your pelvis and stay there. So feel a good reach through your hip joints and lift your right leg and lift the left leg. You should be able to keep both sides of your pelvic leveled. Yeah? So when you lift your right leg, keep your pelvis stable. Don't let it sink down. And lift the left leg, keep your pelvis stable. And now you can kind of use your foot as well. So it feels like a walking on the spot. Working through the muscles of your foot as well. And now lift the leg higher. Lift it so that your knee starts hovering above your hip joint. Stay there, feel your body stable. Lift up on your toes to change the legs. Maybe you want to look at me first, how I demonstrate the movement, you get a good idea. So you lift one leg up, keep your pelvis very stable. Use your deep pelvic muscles to hold that pelvis solid. And your foot is supporting the movement. Give your hip joints a good stretch and from there slowly roll back down. Use the movement to relax your lower back here. Get your pelvis back to neutral and breathe in and out before we continue. Maybe you want to use your hands on your stomach now. You lift your right leg up until the knees above your hip joint and slowly extend your lower leg up towards the ceiling. Point your foot 
and we go for leg circles. So this is more challenging since you have a long leg here. Keep your pelvis stable. You can use the sole of your left foot to help you. And the right leg is circling in good round movements without disturbing the stability of your pelvis. Now get back center, slowly stretch your lower leg out and lift your upper body towards your leg and give the right leg a good stretch for your hamstrings. Pull the leg towards you, pull, pull, and then bend the knee into your chest and give it a good stretch here before you get your right leg back down on the mat. The left leg is joining the right and we change sides. Activate your center, lift your left leg up until the knee is above your hip joint and then slowly extend your lower leg up towards the ceiling. Point your foot and go circling. Your pelvis stays stable and still and you're circling with your toes up on the ceiling. Use your deep stomach muscles as well as your pelvic floor muscles to stabilize your core. Pelvis stays still. Make the circle so big that you can keep the position of your pelvis and just let your breath flow on this one now. Then come back center. Slowly stretch your right leg along the floor. Lift your upper body up. Get your hands on your lower leg and pull the leg towards you. Give your hamstrings on your left a good stretch and feel your stomach, muscle, stomach muscles well engaged. Then pull the left leg into your chest. Release the leg back down and the right leg is joining the left. Now your hands interlink behind your head. We go for some center work, warming up your core here. Lift your upper body up on an out breath and release back down on breathing in. Breathing out, engage your core. Breathing in, re releasing back. Breathing out, lift your upper body. Breathing in, lowering back. Keep your pelvis stable. Don't let your lower back tilt into the mat. And now we continue with the legs up. Keep your upper body where you are and just follow my movement with the legs. So one tiptoe is pointing down to the mat and then change. So through this movement with your legs, keep your st stability in your pelvis, keep your stomach drawing in and then join your legs in tabletop. Come back a touch higher with your upper body. We go for the hundreds. Breathing in, lengthen and breathe out on one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five. Thinking of lengthening your neck, thinking of activating your stomach in towards your spine and always try to grow through the back of your neck. So lift up. If you want to challenge yourself, stretch your right leg. Keep on pumping your arms and change the leg. Stretch your left leg and right leg and left leg. Two, four, five. Keep breathing out and in. Now both legs join. Grab your knees, lay back down on the mat and give your hips a good release by circling them into your chest and out and away. Relax your lower back, relax your hip joints. Come back up, round, and then slowly roll back up into a sitting position. Take your time, scoop back a little bit, stretch your legs out and away. Keep the arms before you, we go for a spine stretch forward. Lift your center in and up, and with a feeling of rolling over a big ball, round into a good stretch of your back before rolling all the way down to the mat. Breathe in there, breathe out, roll back up. Keeping the round back, reaching forward over your toes. Breathe in there and use your out breath to roll all the way back down to the mat. Lift your hands behind you and then chin to chest, rolling up again. Full roll up, reach forward, use your breath and use your out breath to roll back down. Hands behind you, one more time. Come up, 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 up. Try to move each vertebra and now you stay and breathe. Stay up there, use your breath, and then come up in a sitting position. We go lying on our side from there. Get your legs 90-90 in front of you, lift your upper leg out and away, lengthen your waistline and start to lift your leg and lower your leg. Lift the leg with a pointed foot and come back down, reaching your heel. The foot's too much of you to, for you, just lift and lower your leg, trying to keep your pelvis stable. So the movement is not too big. It's really about keeping everything in your torso, in your trunk, at the same sp spot 
and just moving the leg. You should start to feel that in your glutes. And from here, go circle. Lift the leg behind you, under you, gently in front and over the axis of your hip joint. And then change it. Change your direction. Circle the leg and always keep reaching away from you. The next one is front kick. Get ready and kick the leg forward twice before you reach your toes behind your body. Kick forward, breathing in and reaching back, breathing out. In, one, two. And when you reach back, keep your pelvis solid and stable. Don't tilt your pelvis. Keep your pubic bone connected to your ribs. Now on the next one, keep you reaching your leg behind you and the arm reaches forward, so you come into a nice spiral. It's your upper arm reaching forward and the upper leg reaching back. And then change, you pull the leg forward and the arm reaches back. So you go into the opposite spiral. You can bend your knee and the arm reaches diagonally behind you. Enjoy the stretch. Stay there for a while. Take a few breaths and feel where your breath is needed. We continue into the oyster here on your side and just lift your lower legs up as you see on the video right now. And from there, just open the upper leg and close the legs again. So your lower legs stay hovering in the air and just your upper leg is working, opening and closing. Like an oyster, opening in the water, showing the pearl and close your legs again. I like to keep my hand on your pelvis there so I can sense that my pelvis stays stable. It's just the upper leg rotating out in my hip joint and stay there. Now stretch the upper leg and when you come back closing your legs you increase the outer rotation. Open, stretch the upper leg, close the lower leg down and with every movement you should feel this little burn in your glutes area. One more time, open the leg Try to show me your inner thighs forward. Close the lower leg and then close the legs. Lower all the way down and give, where you feel this intense activation, give them a little shake. From there we change sides. If you want, take an elegant switch to the other side. Go down, rest your head on your arm and stretch the upper leg out and away. Lengthen your waistline and we start with lifting and lowering the upper leg. Also here your upper hand can be useful to stabilize your pelvis or to sense what your pelvis is doing. Lift the leg and lower the leg. If you can, join the foot. Stretch the foot when you lift, reach your heel when you lower. And from there we go into circles. Always remember to circle behind your body. So you want to get a good hip extension here. Keep circling and breathing, five in this direction and then you change and circle into the other direction. One, two, three, four and five. Kick forward. So you kick forward on one, breathing in, one, two and reach your toes breathing out behind your body. Kick forward, stretch in your hamstrings and reaching back you might feel a stretch in your quadriceps in the front of your leg. Kick forward and reach back. Kick forward breathing in and breathe out, reach the leg behind you. One more time. Reach your leg to the back, feel a stretch in the front of your thigh and now the upper arm joins and you rotate forward while your leg is reaching far behind you. Feel the spiral from your fingertips to the tips of your toes and enjoy the stretch. Use your breath there before you change. You lift the leg forward, bend the knee and the arm starts to reach behind you. So you change the spiral in the other direction. Again, feel the spiral from the tips of your fingers through your back to your knee. Stay there, take a few good breaths before we go into the mermaid. So you lift your lower legs again and then just open the upper leg like an oyster showing the pearl and close again. Breathe out, lift the upper leg 
the toes stay connected. You just open the knees and you close the knees. Yeah, you might feel a good burn in your glutes. Open your knees, close your knees, open your knees and then from there one more time close and the next time stay open and now you stretch the upper leg and when you bring the toes back together increase the turnout and close again. Open the knees stretch the upper leg away and then bend and increase the turnout. Really work this femur in the hip socket and you can get a good burn in your glutes and close again and then release your legs back down and give them a good massage. Yeah, Get the blood back flowing through the muscles there. Relax for a second. Before we go on all fours Give your back a good stretch, round your nose down to your pubic bone and then go into a downward facing dog or an elephant position. Strong arms, long hamstrings and go walking on the spot there. So bend one knee in and the other leg is stretching away. So the stretch is increasing always on one leg. Get movement in your feet. Keep your shoulders strong and placed and your back as long as you can. And then let both heels sink down. Feel the stretch. And walk forward. Elephants walks. Take your time. Use each moment for the stretch you need. Relax your head. Feel the weight on both feet there. Breathe. Always breathe and then bend your knees and stretch your knees again. Feel the stretch and on this one bend the knees and gently roll your spine up into a standing position. Vertebra by vertebra and come in a good standing position. Now you lift your right leg up. Try to find a good balance there. Feel a strong standing leg. Keep the balance for a second and then pull the knee back up and from there a controlled step back into a lunge position. If you need to widen it a bit more, that's okay. Keep your pubic bone pulling up all the way and then bend both knees down and stretch both legs all the way up. So you bend both knees. You should feel a good stretch in the front of your hip joint and then stretch both legs. If you want and if you can, add your arms, circling around your body, forward, and reaching back. This is also a challenge for your balance. Yeah, Circle your arms and enjoy the stretch. Now come back down, get the hands on the front knee, stay there and now only stretch and bend the back knee. So you're bending, everything else stays still and you're stretching the back leg. You might feel problems there. If you have problems with your back knee, then just keep the position. Get the hands down beside your foot, feel a good stretch and step forward into a forwards bend. Release the weight of your spine down, bend both knees and slowly roll up into a standing position. We do the same on the other side. Lift your left leg up. Keep your balance for a second. Feel a strong standing leg reaching up high towards the ceiling through the crown of your head and then a control step back into a lunge position from there. Bend both legs, feel a good stretch in the front of your left thigh and stretch both legs lowering the back heel so you get a, back, a stretch there in your calf. Bending both knees, stretching both legs and always keep your pubic bone connected up to your ribcage. If you want, you add your arms now. You guide them forward when you bend the knees and reach far behind you when you stretch. Challenge your balance. Circle your arms. Strong legs and control the movement from your center. Always keep your center engaged. And then get the hands on the front knee. And all you do now is you bend the back leg. You stretch the back leg. Everything else try to keep still. Only the back knee is, standing, is bending a little bit and stretching a little bit. You should feel the activation in the back of the leg and the stretch in the front of your hip joint. 
then get the hands back beside your front leg. Increase the stretch there for a second before you step forward with your left leg and let, let your upper body hang over your legs. Try to release into gravity. Let go of your head, your neck, your spine and accept the stretch you feel and try to let go. Then bend your knees and slowly make your way up into a standing position. From there, get the hands on your waist and just reach up both ankles and go walking on the spot. This might look very easy in the beginning. Try to control the movement in your feet and try to keep your pelvis stable. As if you imagine a stick through your hip joints and really keep it parallel to the floor, no tilting. Then come up, find your balance on your left leg and grab your right foot behind you. Try to get a good balance, Ooh, this is a bit hard for me, and feel a good stretch in the front of your thigh. If you've got that, start bending your standing leg just a little bit and stretch your standing leg back up again. Really feel the connection from the foot through your hip joint up to your center. One more time, try to bend the standing leg and stretch and then release. Shake the leg out a bit and we change side. Try to find your balance on your right side. Grab the left foot behind you and go for the stretch in your left thigh. You might want to reach the knee gently behind you to increase that stretch. And then you bend the standing leg just a little bit and you stretch the standing leg back up. You bend your standing leg, but try to keep your balance there and stretch the standing leg. Doing that on a mat is a bit of an extra challenge. And shake your legs again. Come back, get your legs a bit wider, your toes facing out and go into a deep plie. So you bend both legs, stretch both legs, lift your pelvic floor and push up on your toes. And again, you go down into a plie, wide and strong, then lift up, lift your pelvic floor all the way up into your stomach and push up on your toes. Slowly release, one more time, you plie down and lift up your pelvic floor and push up on your toes. Release your heels down, go down into a second position, deep second position and now you stay there. If you want, get some extra strength in your hands and stay down in a wide deep squat. Pull your knees out over your toes. If you can, hold it a bit longer. If you're finished, come back up standing. And then slide back bend, release your chin, make a good roll down into a forwards bend, release your head, step down into a downward facing dog, give yourself a good stretch there, push up on your toes, get the knees down onto the mat and sit back into child's pose. Stay there, breathe, relax your back for a second. Slowly roll back up on all fours, step back into plank position. If you need, you can keep your knees on the mat and slowly make your way down onto your stomach. Lift your right and your left knee leg up and stretch your hip joints there before you start. Feel a good activation in your core and we go into hip extension. So you slowly lift your right leg up and away. Keep it hovering above the floor and lower it back down. Same on the other side. And this is not only about lifting your leg up, but about reaching your leg away out of your hip joints. So you should feel almost like an opening in the front of your hip joint. Do that again with your right leg. Reach the leg away from you, keeping your stomach strong, but your hip joint can lengthen out. 
keep your center strong but try to reach your hip joint out and away from you left leg up and lower it back down and the right leg comes up now lift your upper body as well and stay so your right leg is up and reaching away and the top of your head is reaching away while your shoulders are placed and strong feel the strength in your back as well as in your center and release back down same on the other side good core stability lift your left leg up lift your upper body up feel the left toes reaching away feel your hip joint widening in the front and your head is reaching in opposition stay and breathe feel the activation in your back feel a strong center and slowly lower back down now lift both legs up same sensation of lengthening out and away and lift your upper body up as well and only your breath can increase this position now feel your in breath lengthening you in all directions feel your out breath stabilizing this length if you want to come higher with your upper body you're more than welcome but then release back down and push yourself back into child's pose feel your pelvis resting on your heels feel your back relaxing feel your neck relaxing stay longer if you want to if you feel ready come back up into a sitting position feel all the sensations in your body now and if you need an extra kick you can go and do the app challenge to finish this one off or you can just get ready for whatever there is for you left to do today i hope to see you soon next time bye